I'm a serial uh, chief product and technology officer. I've been doing this thing for 20 years. Started in 1999 with a company called Stockmaster, which was doing SaaS products way back then. Um, and it's been in many fields since. So this is my eighth gig as a CXO uh, doing SaaS products uh, with software and product teams. Um, and leading both, usually at both. Um, companies uh, ranging from financial services to geospatial to news to uh, higher ed to sports statistics to retail statistics, uh, push notifications and photos. So um, I've been doing this for a long time uh, with brands you've probably heard of like Snapfish or Urban Airship or uh, Stapt. And uh, my current role uh, is uh, Chief Products and Technology Officer at Spins, which is a retail uh, SaaS um, market research provider. So a um, lot of experience, been through all the uh, ups and downs of the life of a uh, product and technology person. So happy to talk to you. So let's see. Um, I wrote a dictionary for the Millet language. Wait, you wrote a dictionary for what language? Millet. On the Oregon coast. Oh, how did you? What do you mean? You wrote a dictionary. Tell me what. What does that mean? So, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so the the longer answer is um, uh, when I was at Stanford uh, way back when um, I had learned French, German, and Chinese. I wanted to learn a new language, so I wanted to learn my Native American ancestral language, which was called Milik, and. I went to go find out who spoke Millic. I asked my grandmother. She said, no one. So she said, but check with the tribe. I checked with the tribe. Nobody spoke this language. Um, and so I went into the dusty archives of Stanford and uh, found a book that had Millic in it. Took it to the linguistics department and said, hey, I want to learn this language. And they're like, well, you're going to have to write a grammar for it first. So I wrote the first dictionary for the Millic language. Wow. That's awesome and totally bizarre. <laughs> right. <laughs> Things you don't know about and Troy. They could fill <laughs> the land there, I'm sure. Um, I know there's a wealth of those examples. So what what happened with the dictionary? Like what 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 did you do with it? Oh, so uh I've I've more recently put um some of it online. Um so if you go to millux.org, I maintain that site and um, basically what you'll find if you go there is, so one of the fun things that happened, so the uh, person that had all the stories in the library at Stanford uh, was a cousin of my great-great-grandmother, but it turned out when I was finishing up my, my bibliographic research that there was a recording at Indiana School of Ethnomusicology. I ordered that tape, and then when I got it, I realized that it was my great-great-grandmother and so basically, I put this this recording of my great great grandmother onto milluk.org, m i l u k dot org, and um, so now if you go to milluk.org, you'll find the recordings of my great great grandmother speaking milluk, and then me doing the linguistic analysis of that. Recording.